Hi guys, my name is Roger and in this video I'm going to show you how to chop up a drum brake with a Roland VP9000. I'm going to sample the drum brake, chop it up, play it on my keyboard and use my MP8000 to sequence it. How it works? I will show it. Here we go. We are going to sample. I press sampling. Sampling over here. I give it a new name. In this case I'm going to sample the famous Amen break from the the Winstons. It's called Amen Brother, the song. That's the original song. So we're going to take the sample from that. Okay. So in this case it will be sampled in mono because mono is the best for drums. I will do a manual start because I'm going to play a part of the original song and I want to sample just the drum break part. A little bit of compression and the metronome is off. There's no count in so we're ready to start. I will start now the original song and then I will sample. Okay, sampling is done, exit, I do a preview, okay, so sampling is done, now I'm going to edit, I do wave edit, and I go to loop, over here I'm going to search for the drum break I want to have, so let's say, I can zoom in also, let's give, me, let's give it a try, where are we here? No, I want to have just perfect over there. Let's say here. Okay, that one. Dun, dun, dun. So I go to cursor. Now we go to the end. I will zoom out a little. Then I can see that I have to go over here. Let's hear where we are. So I assume this is the big beat, the bass drum over here. Let's give it a try. Yes. So two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Perfect. So the loop is made. I do exit. I go to tempo now. Tempo. And then. I adjust here, it's one measure, just one measure, and now I do calculate. What does it say? 136.6. That's good, because I already know that it's around 136, 137 from early recordings, but the BPM of this part is 136, around that. Perfect. So now I go to cut and paste. Cut and paste. And I already see here my loop. So I go, go now to truncate. And now that part is, is created. Now I go to encode. And here it comes. Because I want to play several parts on my keyboard. I want to chop this beat into nice pieces. First I Change here the type to backing. Then the depth. I do cursor. And now it automatically automatically seeks points to chop. It only gives me now one, two, three, four, five, five points to chop. But I'm going to add more. So I go to cursor and I can check now every chop. This is the first one. Second one. And I want, of course, to have also this one as a chop. I zoom in. This is good. I zoom out. Then the next chop. I can choose, for example, now with this one to delete 
that part. So I say delete. Now if I go to that one. I want to have it. I want to have it here. I zoom in. I say insert. Next job. I want to have it more over here. So I say insert. And I can choose also to, to delete this one. So let me zoom out. Now I want to have another one here with a snare. Perfect. So insert. Okay. Let me delete this one also. Then we have this. Dun -dun. Okay. If I'm satisfied, I press execution, exec, and that's completed. Okay, cool. So now, this loop is into the VP9000, it's encoded, so I now, I'm now going to prepare the VP9000 to play it with that chops on my keyboard. So, first I go to sample. I go to mode, and I don't want to play more notes at the same time, so I make it solo, and I also make it drum. So that the complete sample is played. Now I go to perform. I go to part. To general. And I want to have here on keyboard map. I change it to event. It does mean that now my keyboard plays events. And all the chops are called with the VP9000 events. I want to have a tempo synced and pitch synced also. Okay, so that's cool. We're done here. The sample on part one, the Amen. So cool. Everything should be set up now correctly. What I'm now going to do is to check if the MIDI clock of the VP9000 is slave to the MIDI clock of the MV8000. So I go to common. And I check over here, master tempo, nothing, because the clock source is MIDI. I'm going to use the MV8000 for recording this drum break. I go to track parameters, output, output assign is on off, and the VP9000 is on MIDI out A, on MIDI channel number 7. So now I can play my MIDI keyboard to hear the chops. Something like that. I'm going to record it now into the MV8000. I've put it on wait note, so when I start playing the keyboard, it starts recording. And like I've said before, in the PP9000, I have synced the clock. I've synced the clock and I've also put in the general information that part number one is tempo sync. So if I now turn up the tempo of the MP8000, the sample will follow.
that's cool. And the pitch is not adjusted, but I can adjust it on the PP9000. So just a basic sample about how to use the PP9000 to chop up samples. And, and if you like it, great, give me a thumbs up. And um, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do it. I will continue grabbing videos, tutorials, and we see each other in the next video. Thank you for watching, guys. Thank you. Bye-bye.